In an effort to curb the rising cases of the Delta variant, Israel has now launched its COVID booster shot campaign to allow the above 60 population to get an additional third dose. Israel launched the campaign to give Pfizer booster jabs to people aged 60 and above in the hope of increasing their protection against COVID-19. It makes Israel the first country to offer a third dose of a Western vaccine to its citizens on a large scale. The booster campaign is expected to effectively turn Israel into a testing ground for a third dose. I feel excellent. I also felt very good after the first two vaccinations. And if we'll need a fourth vaccination, also no problem. It's such a small thing. And, and, and again, I think the fact that we can have the vaccinations is, is just a huge right that we, we get and we should use it. Israeli President Isaac Herzog received the third shot of coronavirus vaccine on Friday, kicking off the campaign. On the eve of the booster rollout, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett said that Israel has already given 2,000 immunosuppressed people the third dose with no severe adverse events. Israel launched one of the world's most successful vaccination drives earlier this year, with over 56 of its 9.3 million people vaccinated with two doses of COVID vaccine. Meanwhile, Britain is also set to offer COVID booster vaccines to 32 million Britons starting early next month, according to reports. The shots will be available in as many as 2,000 pharmacies, with the goal of getting them into arms by early December. According to reports, pharmacies will be at the forefront of the vaccine program so that doctors and NHS staff can focus on the growing backlog of patients awaiting other treatments. So far, the UK has fully vaccinated nearly 58% of its population. Like Israel, many Middle Eastern countries, including Bahrain, are already offering booster shots to vaccinated individuals. The Indonesian Doctors' Association has called on the government to greenlight booster shots for healthcare workers. Media reports suggest that Thailand is also considering giving booster shots for frontline workers. China, meanwhile, is also studying whether it is necessary to give additional doses to vulnerable groups and high-risk workers in order to boost immunity.